I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna make a podcast studio in a box for Pat Flynn. We are in California today with Pat Flynn, What's who up? runs a fantastic podcast called the Smart Passive Income Podcast. And we're gonna make him something today that we started two years ago to make his podcasting easier. Yes, so I do a lot of podcasting and I like to go to places and I'm too lazy to put things together in a bag to try to record those conversations I had. So I needed Bob to come in to make something for me to make this easy. I interview entrepreneurs and other people like you yeah. who do awesome things on my show, Smart Passive Income, but uh, Enough about me, let's get to the bill, dude. Yeah, so we've been talking about this for a while, but to show you what we did, we actually have to kind of go back in time. Oh, back in time here. Yes, put on oh. your shoes. Oh, thank you. I got my hoverboard. Let's go, let's do it. Not too long ago, I had a really interesting crossover of people I know. My friend Pat Flynn, who has a super successful business podcast that we'll link down below, watched a video by my other friend, Laura Kampf, where she made a mobile podcast studio. He asked me if I could make something similar, but we've got some different hardware we need to work with. Pat wanted to use this Rodecaster Pro, and we actually use this for our podcast, No Instructions. It's an all-in-one podcasting studio. You can hook it up to a computer, but you don't have to. So we're gonna build this into the box, and also four microphones with stands. Now there's gonna be a cable running all of these into the Rodecaster, and we just have to fit all of this in one box that you can fold up and take with you. Let's do it. We took a whole bunch of measurements, came up with a really cool design, and then Josh made a 3D model of what this whole thing is gonna look like. From that, we were able to generate a cut list, so I've got all the pieces here I need to cut out of some plywood. Let's do that now, and then we'll start putting it together. I've got all the plywood pieces cut, and now I'm gonna show you how this is gonna to go together. It's incredibly simple. We're gonna have a bottom panel, some two angled sides, and then a back piece goes in between them, and then a front piece goes on the front, obviously. Now we're gonna have two of these. This one is shorter, then there's gonna be a taller section that will live back here and fold over, and then together they will make a big box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these glued together, and then we'll go on to the next step. You may notice that there's actually three different types of wood here. The reason for that is because it doesn't matter. This is all gonna get covered up with something called Tolex, and if you're familiar at all with guitar amps or guitar cases, it's the black material or often different colored material that goes on the outside that gives it a texture. That will protect this, but also hide the fact that it's made out of multiple types of wood. I actually used Tolex in a previous project a long time ago, I made a guitar case. And the Tolex I used then was orange, but it comes in all different colors and patterns. This one's super simple, it's ready to go. The other side is a little bit more complex, but basically put together the same. On this side, we're gonna have four microphones mounted in here down in some foam, so they're nice and protected. Then there's gonna be a section over here to hold all the cables. To hold all of that stuff in place, there's gonna be a piece of walnut that's gonna slot into a dado. So we have to cut a dado right here. Then we'll go and cut out the openings in the foam for the microphones.
Got both of these boxes pretty much done. I rounded over some of the edges because that'll give a smoother transition when you wrap the Tolex around. This is the Tolex, and if you've ever seen a guitar case or an amp, you probably recognize that. We're gonna put this on with some spray adhesive. So we're gonna spray it on the back of this and on the box. When those two surfaces touch, it's a really nice tight bond. Tolex is really easy to put on, but you do have to be really aware of how you're wrapping it and tucking it, especially into corners. If you have an inside corner like this, there's gonna be a lot of trimming and folding to get the pieces to line up. And then anytime that you can hide a seam like that behind something else, go ahead and do it. We got the first piece of foam cut. Now obviously you don't have to use a CNC to cut this. You can cut it with a utility knife and then peel away the layers. It's a bunch of different layers. You peel away the layers to actually build down into the shape that you want. But in this case, we're actually making a 3D shape pushed down so that the microphone will sit down in it. So we decided to use the CNC. Now the other piece of foam that we have to cut is just gonna be a straight cut through to build this surface up. We're gonna do that one now and then stack it right on top of this piece. Josh cut down the two pieces of foam. Now these need to get stuck together before we can cut them to size to fit them in here. You could use spray adhesive, you could use barge for this. I'm gonna use CA glue and activator just to make sure that we don't get any overspray or extra stuff down inside these sections that will contact the microphone. The foam is all cut and the microphones fit in there really nice and tightly. Now we're gonna cover that up, not to hold them down, but just to make it look a little bit nicer. And since we had this entire thing modeled up in Fusion, Josh just took the outline for this foam and actually cut it on the CNC out of this piece of walnut. This was a little bit too big to fit in the laser. Now this is gonna fit right here on top of these pieces. It's gonna act as a cover for this side and we're gonna get it to stay in place by putting a little ledger here that it's gonna fall down behind. With that ledger in place, this can just go right under underneath it and then snap down. So we need to put a catch right there to hold it in place until you lift it out, take it out, and then you can take out the microphones. This is the catch we're gonna use. It has a little piece which will be attached to our walnut. And when you push the piece of walnut down, it should snap right onto that. So then we'll have to put a handle on the top side so you can release that. To get this glued into place, I'm gonna hold it right here, put a little bit of CA glue, and then lay the panel down on top of it. And that will temporarily hold them together so that we can lift it up and mark it and then screw it in place. Here's how we're gonna handle the latch. There's gonna be a little loop of leather that will be riveted down into that piece that I showed you being glued on. And then this whole thing will snap down onto the catch. So then you just grab this tab, pull it up, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna take a little piece of leather that I've got cut here. I'm gonna dye it, glue it together into a little flap, and then we'll put it on the piece of walnut.
I'm kind of skipping over all the leather finishing for this, but we've done that in previous videos. We'll link one of those in case you want to check out the entire process. That snaps in really well, and the cool thing about these is this metal piece can be bent in and out to make it tighter or looser. So we're gonna loosen this up a little bit to make sure that we don't put undue pressure on this thin piece of wood. Clamp champ, your clamp champ. Josh made up a really simple little box that's gonna fit right here next to the Roadcaster. He put that together with the same material that we used on the top here. And right now he's finishing up the latch, which is also exactly like this section. Now, once that's in place, we're gonna glue it in there so it's nice and sturdy. And then we just have to put on the hardware. We've got a few things here. We've got some metal corners to put on all of the outside corners to protect them. Got some rubber feet to go underneath it so it doesn't scratch up a table. And then some latches and these hinges. These hinges are really cool because they're two parts and when you fold them over, they can separate. So that will allow us to set the entire box on the table, open it up and then pull the back section off, leaving just the board and this box on the table to control the podcast. I put down the Roadcaster with some Velcro, and that may seem like a bad idea, like it wouldn't hold it, but this is actually kind of heavy duty, 15 pound Velcro, check this out. I've got it down and I can pick up this entire thing just by holding the Roadcaster. It's plenty strong to hold this piece of hardware in place. Just wanted to point that out to make sure that you knew that this was secure. The last thing is to plug in the mic cables. We got these special ones that you can adjust. You can actually change the angle of them and that works so that the cable doesn't stick up too high. Then we can run the cables over into this box and hide all the wires away.
all good to go. Now we got to take it out to California and give it to Pat. All right, uh, here it is. I'm so excited. Um, is this not gonna like explode or? It shouldn't. Like, <laughs> I know it's around Halloween trick yeah. or treat kind of situations. It's happened to me before, but I think I can trust you, Bob. All right, here we go. Ooh, let's go. Oh yes. Okay, I need to know what is going on here because this is so cool. Wow. So here's what we got. Woo. This is in two pieces, so it actually comes apart once you've got it open. Okay. You've got four Rode microphones with stands. Wow. In here, and so you can just pull them out to use them and set them up on the table. This is wood. Yep. Nice. Uh, it's all walnut. And then over here, you've got the Rodecaster with four XLR cables plugged in all the time. Those cables are right here, mm. so you've got all the power you need. You can just plug that in. You can take each one of these mic cables, undo the Velcro, run it to the mic and you're good to go. This is exactly what I was looking for. We've got headphones there too. Yep. Uh, it looks like a USB cord in case you wanted to plug it into a computer. But yes. the nice thing about this device is you can just record right into it with an SD card. Yes. So I don't and even need my computer. You can get to that SD card. We made sure that all the power and all that stuff is accessible back yep. here. So it should be able to get to it all and you can take it all out. It doesn't have to stay in this case if you wanted to pull it out. You can. I love it. It looks like there would be enough room for like a power bank. If, if, if all these are out, you could put a power bank to power this. So you don't even need to plug it in. Sure. Dude, this is awesome. We need to we need to set this up in like we're going to do an interview. Well, let's do an interview. Let's do an interview. All right. So we finally got this thing finished after two years. I hope this thing is helpful for you. It makes podcasting even easier. And I'm looking forward to hearing how you use it. Two years for the build, literally a minute to set up, which is perfect. Yeah. Um, we're about to record a show. Yeah, uh, we're going to record this. It's going to be out later in the year, but there's going to be a link to Smart Passive Income Podcast down in the description. Be sure to go subscribe to it because it's awesome, but also because this episode will be out later on. Um, so be sure to go check that out. Or you can check out Bob on episode 180 from 2015, which is a long time young ago. Young Bob. <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoyed this build, and I hope you enjoyed meeting Pat if you've never met him before. We've got lots of other types of projects that you may want to check out, and if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So when we went, when we went, blah, 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 blah. I actually made a guitar case at one point using the same stuff, but the, the st stuff. I actually made a guitar case one time, but I used, I actually used Tolex one time to make a guitar case. And the Tolex I used was orange. You can find it in all sorts of different colors and patterns.